And we are back, fellow knife enthusiast, with another fun-filled adventure. Mm. It's adventure now, not episode, huh? Uh, yeah, we're going to be taking you guys to the Amazon rainforest. Yes. Awesome. Where one of our Atlantic Knife employees has been product testing several machetes for us. I know. John! Let's see. Can you hear me, John? John? Are, are you there, John? Can you hear me? Can, oh, you know what? It seems that John doesn't exist. Well, that would explain it. Yeah. That's really a shame of. You know, I'm just thinking, since John doesn't exist, mm -hmm. maybe the boss should uh, raise our funding a little bit. No, no, I don't think so. I mean, we are living so large here already. I mean, we do our show in the warehouse. Uh, we use handmade ruler signs, pool floats, and Burger King crowns. I think we're all good here. Yeah, you're you're right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd rather our pay go up. Then you know what? You could get a new scooter. No, actually, the boys in blue took it. So, <laughs> and you know what? You know what though? The one thing that is going to go up this week is the knives and tools from Kershaw, Civivi, We Knife, and Best Tech. Yes, we're shouting out to our boys: Andrew from Kershaw, Jimmo Young from We and uh, Wesley Gear from Best Tech. We're going over some products from each of you guys' companies just to say thanks for letting us bug you for 30 minutes, hour, two hours. Long enough. Yeah. Though, that's not the only reason mm -hmm. we want to sell these knives. Yeah. But you guys already know that's what we do here. Yeah, and if you didn't know, well, congratulations. <coughs> Woohoo, you are now in the know. Feels good, doesn't it? I bet it does. Uh, you are now a part of the inside joke. Is it a joke, really? No, not really. I have to be a part of one someday. <laughs> Sorry, oh, ahead. don't worry. You are definitely part of a joke. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was an office quote if you didn't get that, genius. <sighs> We're playing the clip in a few seconds, so you can, you know. Love inside jokes. Love to be a part of one someday. The first knife. Connect the dots. Is definitely mm. not a joke. I like and it. that is the Civivi. Mm -hmm. How do you want to pronounce this? Just go with Duras. Duras, but see, I want to go with do R U S. Do you R us? No. All right, Duras, it is. Mm -hmm. And we've got the orange and the gray ones to show you today. I'm going to focus on the orange one. All righty. Because it's a uh, more eye catching than the gray one. Yeah, whatever floats your boat. The only pontoons. Uh -huh. This liner lock is 6.88 inches overall with a 3 inch Chinese D2 steel blade that has a hardness of about 59 to 61 on the Rockwell scale. Mm -hmm. The blade's also got a hollow grind and a blade thickness of about you know, 0.12. Okay. Uh, the handle is orange G10 and is about uh, 0.55 thick because it's in like uh, two different sections. It's about a half an inch thick. Yeah, on each side. Um, it's about 3.88 inches long. Uh, and the liners on the inside are stainless steel uh, with a bit of jimping on the liner lock. Yeah, not the blade release apparently. It's the liner lock, which is should be obvious, but hey, learn something new. It does release the blade. Exactly. Release the blade! This knife is a, a flipper. Um, it has a reversible black stainless steel pocket clip and an orange back spacer. Finally, it's got the Civivi logo on the pivot cap cover. Which we know you admire. Yes, yes I do. The other, how was that pronounced again? Duras. Duras mm -hmm. has the same specs except for the obvious. The handle is gray and not orange. You know, I usually don't care for orange. But I think in this case, I will make an exception. I really like the look and the feel of this knife. It reminds me a little of the Artisan Wren because of its size and the blade length. But the handle kind of steers away from that, making it different. I agree. Mm -hmm. Orange always reminds me of a rescue knife. I don't know why that is, but it seems like all the rescue knives Well, maybe are... they're supposed to be bright so like you can see it if you drop it. I'm sure that would work. Yeah. Well, then shouldn't it like glow in the dark or something then? So you drop in the dark. Well, let's not go crazy. Yeah. Yes, that's a crazy thought. 
I do like the textured design mm -hmm. of the handle. I mean, it provides a good grip and traction. Not to mention, I like how the blade is designed with this type of um, bevel. Mm -hmm. Thanks for pointing that out. You're welcome. I think it makes the knife look unique and user ready for only $65 on AtlanticKnife.com. Um, our next knives are just as user ready, and those are the S Tech Musky Clippers. More great everyday carries. Exactly. These knives are, I think, about 8.54 inches well, overall. You just guessed that right. We have rulers here on the ends of our yes, sticks. We, yeah, we do. <laughs> Okay, while the satin finished drop point D2 steel blade with a flat grind is 3.58 inches long. Uh, this liner lock has a stainless steel tip up right slash left carry reversible pocket clip. Wow. Yeah. In addition to a lanyard hole. The back of the blade also has a bit of jimping. In addition to the jimping on the flipper stud. Uh, the candle comes in black G10 and... Aww. There you go. And OD Green G10. Uh, finally, the blade can be deployed either through the flipper stud or the thumb hole. Uh, there, wait, 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 don't that. I know what you're going to say. Don't. I also want to point out that this one's a bit different because it has uh, some black wash on the top part of the blade. See right there. Well, those actually come. Mm -hmm. They have the green that has the black mm -hmm. on top, and then the green it doesn't, and black it does. Yeah, so this is just like it. a different yeah. version of this one. So six different variations. Yeah. How do you? How, wait, wait. How do you get six? Because there's another color. Two of this one, two of this one. I think it's tan. I can't remember what the other color is. Oh. You should know. You do inventory. It's on our website at atlanticknife.com, and when you purchase one, it will make me. Yay! Yay! But won't put more money in. Mm hmm. What, the, what is a zero for? That's the money I get. Oh. I don't, <laughs> I don't work on commission. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Big mistake. Big. Huge. I know. Big mistake. Huge. We know where that one came from. Oh, sorry. From. You know, I noticed you said OD Green. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Did you know that OD stands for Olive Drab? Mm -hmm. I just okay. want to tell hold you on, that. Hold on, hold on. They have some knives, because I was writing descriptions for some of them, and some of them say olive green. Mm -hmm. Why do some say OD green, and why do and some of them say olive green? I, I heard you say it was sounded like sounded military -ish, and I actually thought it did too, but OD is olive drab. That's stupid. You ain't telling me. Why I mean, can't you just say the color? You already said green. Why can't you just say green? Else. You guys don't, guys don't care if it's olive green or not, or chemo green or not. It's green. You mean, maybe OD sounds more manly. OD green? How does that sound more manly than green? There they. That sounds more manly, but... That sounds like a dip at the Mexican restaurant. That's guacamole. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Come on! That's a dip. Oh, I think I'll have some verde with that. Guacamole. I'm sorry. Or, mm -hmm. or los cuatro amigos. Cuatro quesos dos fritos. We gotta figure out where those are. There's also some, uh, mm -hmm. I guess you would call it like wave indentations yeah. uh, on the handle, which are meant to help you maintain a good grip on the knife mm -hmm. while using, you know, a handy feature to have, uh, in my opinion, I guess. Yes, indeed. And the style cut of the knife has plenty of belly and like a smooth profile with, you know, quick blade action if you don't, you know mess up like some of us do. Yep, sometimes. Um, due to the ceramic ball bearing pivot system it has. I think just these both are both great knives from another great company. And they are only $52 on, a, I'm making sure you're the right side, AtlanticKnife.com. Yeah, I had the right side. Yeah, the only one messes up is me, right? No, that's not true. Yeah, I was being sarcastic. I make mistakes. Thank you. In 1999. We, we got that on camera, right? Yes. I was going to tell you my mistake. Oh, go ahead. In 1999. You had children. I missed a three foot putt. You should never do that. Three foot oh. putt. Yeah, the damn windmill hit me. The <laughs> windmill. Oh, because you were <laughs> mini golf. Right. <laughs> the final knife on the table is just as great 
and that is the Kershaw Tar Heel. Score a great deal at AtlanticKnife.com. <sighs> we know what you're thinking, and no, it's not the North Carolina College. Because apparently I've been notified that it's not just the football team that's called the Tar Heels. It's their basketball, it's their swim team, it's whatever else Water they Water polo, soccer. They got lacrosse over there. Oh, they got lacrosse over there. Mm -hmm. If there is a chess team, they, they got a chess team too, I'm Tar sure. Tar Heel chess team? Or? Tar Heel chess team. Yeah. Okay. We're not Tar Heel fans here. Oh, if, unless you want us to be. And <laughs> if that helps. Lane. Right. <laughs> if that helps. Okay, go ahead. This knife is a... It's an economy knife from Kershaw. It's a liner lock with a black handle. Mm -hmm. The blade is deployed, deployed through the use of a dual thumb stud. There's some jimping on the blade uh, release or liner the lock. liner lock. <laughs> but other than, other than that, this knife is pretty, uh, I guess, basic in terms of extras. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that just makes it more of a usable EDC. Mm -hmm. I know some people, myself included, that don't always want a knife we carry around to have, you know, a bunch of extra stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, it just needs to have a blade and a handle and thumb stud and, you know, a liner and a pocket clip. And pocket clip can be optional sometimes, so mm -hmm. not all the time. But that's it. I can appreciate it too when someone, you know, makes a great everyday pocket clip out of just a few features. Um, and it's still durable and nice to look at and use. I, I'm a little sad that they didn't hide the logo anywhere. <laughs> um, it's on the blade, as you guys can see, and on the pocket clip. I don't know if... You're going to look for that on every one from now on, yes, right? Yes, I am. Well, I think Andrew Keel but, but would have to design that one. But there also, there isn't any place to hide the logo. He would have made one. You know what? You're right. He probably would have. He'd probably like, put it inside the pocket clip and you'd have to like Take it off. Maybe you had a little piece of paper you unfold and it would be there. I don't know. What? Like a little banner. <laughs> Fall down. Oh bang. But I was just thinking. <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> Finally, um, this knife mm -hmm. is eight inches overall with a stainless satin finished blade that is about three and a half inches long mm -hmm. with a Stainless steel pocket clip. And no lanyard hole. Uh, this carry is only sixteen ninety eight on AtlanticKnife.com. I I snapped it. Yeah, be careful. Our handmade sign is getting pretty worn there. Hey. Might just pop off and fly across the room. I got six and a half inches left. Oh my God. Okay, and that leaves us with the final tool on the table, the Wee Knife Sinrix. These are a bit on the small size, mm -hmm. but they are perfect for every day, everywhere, on the go, mm -hmm. toss it in your pocket. You know, if you go do the pocket dump challenge, there you are. Oh, pocket dump challenge. Yeah, yeah I know. Hey, some of us <laughs> spend a little too much time on Instagram. <clears throat> some of us? Hi, Rick. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, though. We're not going to start quoting Dr. Seuss again. Uh, this pen, yes, we didn't even say it was a pen. We probably should have said that. Mm-hmm. So, yep, there it is. Um, this pen comes in various colors, and today, as you guys can see, we have the black and the gray, or dark, dark gray, because I don't really call that gray. It's, it's darker. So. Close enough. It's made of 6AL4B titanium mm -hmm. with a stainless steel key ring, so you can carry it on your pack or your keys, or even on your belt. This tool is about three, I don't know, three and a half inches long yeah. with a screw cap, so you shouldn't lose it. Put it back on. And the weight of the tool is only 16 grams. 16 grams. Now, I hear in California, mm -hmm. that's not even enough to get you a citation. Really? That's a good one. You know what? If that were a joke, that would have been... Yeah. That would mm -hmm. have been an 11. No. Uh, that have been more like these go to 11. Like, okay. Uh, both of these pens run on black ink, so... No blue or red or green or That's all right. funky orange. Well, anything you write with them, you'll be able to fax. Oh, I personally... Because people use fax machines, though. Dinosaur. How else are you supposed to get a date? 
I personally <laughs> would carry the black. Long story. Oh, long story. Yeah. Yeah. That's one I'm never going to want to hear. So, which one? I would you? carry the black one. Fine. Well, that's good because I would carry the, uh, the, the dark gray one. So are you saying since we have one of each that we should just carry them? We don't need the rays this week. I don't know. We'll just take wee pins. Whoa, whoa. These are, are great price. They're only $25 at Atlantic.com. So we need, a, we need a small raise and wee pins. We need, a, we need a raise and free wee pins. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what makes this a tool. Mm -hmm. Is it the fact that it operates as a pin and that makes it a tool? I mean, yeah. Well, maybe. Or you could... You could, I mean, due to the fact that it's made of 6A L4V titanium, you could technically use it as a self-defense tool in a pinch. Are they like little coupons? I feel like they could be because, I, I, you know Ooh. that that monkey fist paracord keychain I have on my ring? Yes. Yes. You mean I, the pink one made by Cole? I'm just kidding. No, it's gray. <laughs> oh, it's gray. Sorry. It has a steel ball inside of it and you swing it around and hit somebody with it. If you gave yourself, you know, and it comes with a key ring. So if you put it on your keys and you swing it at somebody, I feel like... They, they might be stunned. So, you know what? Okay. I bet you if you poke somebody with this sucker, it wouldn't feel good. Yeah, but that's the part that's attached to the key ring. Well, I was so thinking maybe like this. It's only 16 grams, so, so a roll of quarters would help you out. Not that I've seen that happen before. Yeah, Tape it up, first put it in your hand. hand, keep it in your pocket. Right here. See, so you can't mm -hmm. say you're going to the laundromat anymore or you're going to use the pay phone because, <laughs> whew. Unless yeah. you live in West Virginia, so they don't the have fax, pay phones. Fax machines are outdated. You can talk about the, the phone. So I guess we're not going to call it a weapon in any way or shape or form. It's a self-defense tool or carry. Not a weapon. I don't think I would uh, recommend this as a self-defense tool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see the news headline already. Man killed in knife versus pin fight. You can't. Be the you can tell who, who won that fight. Yeah. Okay, and with that, uh, we've reached the conclusion of this week's show. So, don't forget to hit that like. Yes, we went with plain. Hit. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell buttons so we can continue to supply you with info and specs on knives and tools and never-ending wit. Until I retire. Which is mostly... Supplied by me. Oh, yeah, you're closer to retirement than I am. Yes, and whenever we need a bad pun, uh, you were there too. So that's supposed to be an insult. You're, co it's you're a closer very to retirement. Thing, hey, you're you closer me. to not working than hey, me. Old, hey, old man. I have fifty more. Oh man. Oh man. You call me old man. Oh, you're older than I am. Please. You guys can find us on Facebook, <laughs> Pinterest. Uh, no. Can you, I'm gonna slow it down. Or Instagram. Yeah, you can't slow it down. Why, why are you always trying to steal my thing? Nope. <laughs> you tried to steal my line last week. And with no, I that, I gave it back to you because that is the heroic and nonsense. And with thing that, do you know what that means? No, it means he's Jim wanna... O. Young. I'm C, and this is Joel. Mm-hmm. Just Joel. And we are. You ever realize when I say we are signing off that I should probably just go? With, yeah, I've considered that, but you were always like... I always put the two E's. I write like, well... You I can't believe you're actually signing anything. No one can tell. And with that, we are signing off. <laughs> that was good. I know. I know. Two. One, check, two, check, three, check. four. Jerry, pull the higher note. I'm still getting some hiss down here. On the hi hat. Are you, are you sure? That way, you might hit my drink. Oh, that would be such a shame. Are you ready now? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you gonna throw it right here? No. Where are you gonna throw it at? At your face. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. I can't miss it then if you don't. You're gonna throw it at my face. Exactly. Okay. Okay. You can score a great deal at AtlanticKnife.com. <laughs> she thought she was going to hit my face. No, I forgot to sign down. No. I'm going to throw it back to you. No.
Where did it go? You should Score a great deal at AtlanticKnife.com. That almost went bad. Score a great deal at AtlanticKnife.com. Is my hair... <laughs> you told me to miss it, right? Why would you say that? You're supposed... He ruined the whole... You just, you just wrecked it. You just wrecked it. I'm not supposed to miss that, right? <laughs> wreck it, Ralph. Oh, that was me. Excuse me. All right. I feel more comfortable throwing it to you like that.